Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Fred? And I in this tutorial, I want to show you I can easily create color grading actions in Photoshop. So, usually, we have actions for skin retouching, dodging, and burning to help us fast in the process. But if I told you there's a way you can record your color grading and record it into an action so that when you can come and simply play it or you play the action, it can easily apply a given color grading. And this is going to be a non-destructive way of color grading your images and you can go ahead and change the color grading later on if at all it is a little bit too much or if at all the reds or yellows are a little bit too much for your liking so let me just show you my action and i show you how we can easily come and create that action within photoshop so right now I'll simply first of all come to window right here and make sure that actions is checked to open up the actions window and you can see this is my action now simply come and play it and just like that it is done color grading this very image and that's the before and after and if at all it is a little bit too much you can come the opacity and reduce on the opacity of the color grading or you can simply open up the color grading group and you can simply change the color grading that you apply to this image so i'm just going to show you, you can easily create your own color grading for different kinds of skin tones and you create them or you make a shortcut of the color grading so you can just play it and just apply a given color grading to your different images or your clients or models of different skin tone complexions so you have to create a number of actions for color grading different kinds of skin tones so in order to create the action first of all make sure to have open photoshop and you simply come and make sure the actions window has been opened right here so before you create an action within photoshop you simply have to first of all open up the actions window right here and first of all put it in a group by selecting the folder icon right here or the group icon and you can rename that to color grade actions or color grading actions if at all you wish to always put them in a group because that is going to enable you save them or export them if at all you want to put them on another computer or give them to a friend or a fellow photographer sharing is caring so i'm just going to come and simply click ok right here and you can see it has created for us a folder and it's time to record the action so before you record the action basically first of all come right here and select on the plus icon right here so the plus icon is going to be for recording the action or the new action that we want so simply click on the plus icon and it's going to open up the new action dialog box right here so we can name this to melanin because you just want to create that kind of melanin action melanin action just like that and after that simply choose a set which is the currently created set for color grading and you can assign a key for the color grading so i'm just going to choose maybe f9 shift and command so that's a shortcut that you can press on your keyboard to activate this action i rarely use shortcuts for kinds of actions so i'm just going to leave it at that and you can choose the color for your action so i'm just going to choose green and simply click on record and when you press record it's going to start recording every color grading effect that you're going to be putting on this very image so let's first of all try and see if at all we can color grade this very image so just want to create a melanin kind of look for this kind of image so we are simply going to come down here and first of all come to hue and saturation and usually what i do for a melanin look i'll just come to master and simply select the reds remember most skin tones belong to the red channel so i'll just come and select the reds and come to the lightness down here and take the lightness all the way down just like that and you can see the more you take it down the darker your skin is going to be but I don't want to take it all the way down. I just want a simple fill. So negative 30 is okay. So depending on the look that you are going in for, choose that and you're going to be good to go. And after that, I'll just come and create a black and white adjustment layer right here to add contrast to the skin and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and come to the opacity and simply drop or take down the opacity to the one of my liking. So these adjustments are going to be able to be changed or altered at the end of the color grading process. So don't mind if at all you overdo it because if at all you apply the action and it is too much, you can always come to the action folder and reduce on the opacity. 
So after doing that, we're just going to come and create another adjustment layer. So right now we can simply come and create a selective color adjustment layer. And with this, simply target the reds or yellows. You can choose reds and you can add a little bit of greens to a skin tone, just a tiny bit. I think that's okay. And we could come to the blacks channel and simply add blacks a tiny bit. One is okay. And simply cool down the image slightly. Negative one looks okay. And after doing this, the next thing is going to be, so if at all you're done with the color grid and feel it is fine, you can stop here. So let's just add one more adjustment layer, which is the color balance right here. And within the color balance, we are just going to cool down the highlights of this image. So I'll just come and select the highlights and simply take this down a little bit to cool down the image. Negative 4 or 5 is okay. And this is the before and after for just the color balance. So when you're satisfied with the results for the color grading, the next thing is going to be coming back to your actions by pressing this button right here. And you can see every adjustment that we apply to the image has been saved right here. So we always want the color grading to be in a folder. So we are going to group the layers that we have in the layers panel by selecting the topmost layer and simply holding on the shift key on the keyboard and simply left clicking on the bottom layer and pressing ctrl g on the keyboard or you can select and drag them to the group icon and you can name this to melanin just like that melanin okay that's fine and after grouping it the next thing is going to be simply stopping the action remember it has been recording so we just want to stop the recording process so after i have stopped the recording process our action is right here. So you want to see if at all the action is the same as what we have for the color grading. So this is the before and after. So by simply deleting what we had, we are simply going to come to the actions window right here and simply play our melanin action. And you can see it instantly color grades the image. So you can see the before and after. And like I said, if at all the effect is too much on the skin or the model that you're working on, you have the option to always come and reduce on the effect or the opacity of the color grading and this is the before after before after and when you feel like maybe the yellows are too much you can open up the color grading fold and choose for example the hue and saturation double click on it right here and simply choose for example the yellows if at all they are too much and you can reduce on the saturation of uh, the yellows within the skin tone and that is going to be okay and you're going to be good to go so this is the before, after, before, after. So this is how you can easily create color grading actions. And one last thing, simply, if at all you want to export the action and maybe share it with a friend or sell it, you can simply come to the actions window right here. And under action, simply select the folder in which the action is saved. So which is the color grading actions. And simply click on these lines and simply come to save actions and you can save the actions in a given folder and you can share them or use them on another computer so this is it for this video and if i told you i've learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i've seen in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating